you probably think you know your story, where you come from, who your people are. But what if there's a secret chapter? A chapter hidden not in some dusty book, but in your own blood, in the spiraling code of your DNA. It's a story of incredible journeys, of survival against all odds, and of connections so unexpected they can challenge everything you thought you knew. Imagine two groups of people, seemingly worlds apart, Jewish people and Filipino people. One, a people defined by an ancient covenant and a story of global diaspora. The other, a vibrant nation of thousands of islands, a crossroads of Asian empires forged by the Pacific waves. On the surface, they don't seem to have much in common. Ever wondered where you really come from? Not the stories, but the science. On this channel, we decode real DNA, uncover lost ancestries, and bring ancient genomes to life through cinematic storytelling. If that excites you, subscribe for weekly insights. Like the video to support science-based history. And drop a comment. Your questions help guide what we explore next. But what if their DNA told a completely different story? A story with a twist so surprising it could change how you see the world, and maybe even yourself. Recently, something baffling started to show up in the results of commercial DNA tests, a faint but undeniable genetic whisper that history books never told us about. It's a clue that unlocks a dramatic tale of persecution, escape, and the incredible ways human lives get tangled together across oceans in centuries. Stick around as we follow this genetic breadcrumb trail. So, before we get into the mystery, let's quickly break down what we're looking at. Think of your DNA as your family's most ancient and sacred recipe book. It's passed down through generations, holding all the instructions that make you, you. Everything from your eye color to your height. This book is written in a simple four-letter alphabet, A, C, G, and T. And scientists, like genetic historians, can now read it. They look for specific markers or unique phrases in the text to trace family histories back in time. One of their most powerful tools is the study of haplogroups. Think of a haplogroup as a unique seal or a chapter heading in that recipe book. There are two main types. Why DNA is passed from father to son, almost unchanged like a family last name that never gets lost. It tells the story of your paternal line, all the way back to a single male ancestor. Then there's mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, passed down from a mother to all her children. This tells the story of your maternal line, an equally ancient and unbroken chain of mothers. By comparing these chapter headings from people all over the world, scientists can map the great migrations of human history. They can see who is related to whom, and when they arrived in the places they now call home. This is our personal history, written in our cells. And it's by reading two of these vastly different recipe books, the Jewish and the Filipino, that a fascinating clue was discovered. First, let's open the Filipino recipe book. The genetic story of the Filipino people isn't one simple tale, it's a grand epic of the sea. It's a story defined by movement, mixing, and being a crossroads for the entire Asia-Pacific. The foundation of this story began with one of the most amazing feats of human migration, the Austronesian Expansion. About 4,000 years ago, master seafarers set out from Taiwan in their outrigger canoes, using only the stars and currents to navigate the open ocean. Their journey south led them to the Philippines, making them among the first to settle the islands. This was just the beginning of a wave of migration that would eventually populate a massive part of the globe, from Madagascar to Easter Island. These voyagers carried a distinct genetic signature, with Y-DNA haplogroup 01A-119, being a common marker found in both Taiwan and the Philippines today, confirming this incredible journey. But the Philippines was never isolated. For centuries, it was a bustling hub for trade. Chinese merchants came for commerce, with many settling and intermarrying, leaving their genetic mark. Winds also brought traders from India, leaving traces of South Indian language, spirituality, and DNA. Then in the 16th century, the Spanish arrived, ruling for over 300 years. This colonial period definitely left a genetic mark, but maybe not as big as you'd think. Surprisingly, multiple studies show that for most Filipinos, direct Spanish ancestry is relatively low, often less than 5%. It's a subtle flavor in the rich stew of Filipino genetics, but not the main ingredient. The Filipino recipe book is a testament to this incredible diversity. A blend of ancient Austronesian heritage mixed with DNA from China, India, and a touch of Europe, all layered on top of the even more ancient lineage of the Negrito people, who arrived some 50,000 years ago. And it's within that small Spanish colonial chapter that the first clue to our mystery lies hidden. Because the ships that sailed from the Spanish Empire carried more than just soldiers and priests. 
They carried secrets. Now, let's turn the page to a very different story. The Jewish genetic story is one of deep roots in the Middle East, incredible continuity, and a history of a people scattered across the globe, yet bound by shared heritage. Genetic studies overwhelmingly agree that the core ancestry of Jewish people traces back to the Levant. For thousands of years, this ancestry was preserved, partly due to endogamy, the cultural practice of marrying within the community. This created a distinct genetic signature that remained recognizable even as Jewish people were forced into diaspora. Their paternal lines are dominated by haplogroups like J and E, which are common in the Middle East. The diaspora led to distinct subgroups. The three largest are Mizrahi Jews, Middle East North Africa, Sephardic Jews, Spain Portugal, and Ashkenazi Jews, Central and Eastern Europe. Modern genetics has shown that Ashkenazi Jews, who make up the majority of Jews today, originated from a small group that migrated from the Middle East to Europe around the 10th century. There, they went through a founder event, meaning today's millions of Ashkenazi Jews descend from just a few hundred families. While they mixed with local Europeans over the centuries, modern Ashkenazi DNA is about 30 to 60 percent European, they remain genetically distinct and cluster most closely with other Jewish groups. But for our mystery, we need to focus on the Sephardic Jews. Sephard is Hebrew for Spain, and for centuries they thrived on the Iberian Peninsula. This golden age ended brutally in 1492 with the Alhambra Decree. Spain's monarchs gave Jews an impossible choice, either convert to Catholicism or leave forever. Tens of thousands fled, creating a new Sephardic diaspora. Many stayed and converted, becoming known as conversos, or new Christians. But for many, the conversion was just for show. In secret, they practiced Jewish rites, hunted by the brutal Spanish Inquisition. To survive, many conversos tried to get as far away as possible, fleeing to the farthest corners of the new Spanish Empire, including, as we're about to find out, the Philippines. They carried their hidden Jewish identity and their Jewish DNA with them. This surprising, though rare, connection is more than just a piece of trivia. It's a powerful reminder that we are all far more interconnected than we think. History isn't something that just happens around people. It becomes a part of them, written into their biology. Think about what this tiny genetic link represents. It tells a story of huge global forces, the terror of the Spanish Inquisition and the dawn of the Age of Exploration, which moved people and their genes to the most unexpected places. A royal decree made in Spain in 1492 had a direct biological consequence that can be measured today in the DNA of a person in Manila over 500 years later. That's the power of history. This discovery also challenges our neat boxes of identity. Can a person be 100% Filipino in culture and identity, yet also carry a genetic link to a hidden Jewish past? The answer is a clear yes. It shows that identity isn't a simple pie chart of percentages, but a complex tapestry woven from the threads of countless ancestors and their incredible journeys. The world has always been a melting pot. We think of globalization as a modern thing, but these results prove it's been happening for centuries. A Spanish galleon carrying silver from the Americas to the Philippines to trade for Chinese silk was also a vessel of genetic exchange, carrying Spanish, Mexicans, and hidden among them people with a genetic legacy from the Middle East. Our DNA is living proof that no population is an island, not even the people of an archipelago. So what have we learned? The stories of the Jewish and Filipino peoples began worlds apart, one in the Middle East, the other on the waves of the Pacific. For millennia, their paths never crossed. But then, history intervened. An act of persecution in 15th century Spain started a chain of events that would carry a thread of Sephardic Jewish DNA across the globe, where it was woven, secretly, into the vibrant tapestry of the Filipino people. This isn't a story about one group being part of another, it's a story about how the great currents of history can pull us all into the same ocean. It reminds us that our genomes are living history books filled with tales of tragedy, survival, and unforeseen connection. Our DNA proves that we are all distant cousins, our family trees tangled together by the grand, sprawling, and often secret story of what it means to be human. What surprising connections have you found in your own family history? Share your story in the comments below. We'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching.